in my 20 years of experience with international organizations trying to bring about change in the world, and I mean science organizations, um, frankly, um, what gives me hope is not those organizations, but these kinds of grassroots initiatives. If something is going to save us, it's going to come from below, I think, because these are the people who are not talking the talk, but walking the walk and actually making massive uh, changes on the ground, real, real change. Uh, I believe science needs to get behind this kind of initiative. It needs to get behind small farmers, needs to lobby national governments to change their subsidy programs and stop the subsidies all going to the big players and redirect them to small farmers. You know, the farmer protests in Europe. Uh, I think it is a lot about that problem. So those protests are largely about such problems. Um, these, look, at least farmers are able to produce in a very clean way, in a circular way. And they're innovators. And these solutions, I think, need to be shared. And science can be play a big role in um, looking at how to reform the system, the governance, the policy, um, the support systems, uh, and learn from the farmers about how they are doing it also at an organizational level. Okay, that's really all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thomas. Let us continue. Continue. We have to uh, go on. Ugo, you are the next speaker. Please, the floor is yours. You have 15 minutes. Please. Thank Take you, Nebosha. So it is a pleasure to be here, to be invited. I am a recent member of the WAS, the World Academy for Arts and Sciences, and it is uh, my second seminar on this uh, with this uh, organization, which I, I hope I will be able to contribute more in the future, be because it is a very interesting um, group of people, and and it is a pleasure to have this. Possibility. So today I have the task of uh, showing you some data relative relative to a um, work that uh, some work that we made with the Club of Rome. The Club of Rome has a very general approach. Our models apply to uh, many kinds of systems, and uh, we have applied them to the economy, to the global economy, and also to food production and in particular to food production in uh, uh, the sea, in the oceans, seafood, or anyway, food from the sea. So we have this um, uh, concept. Uh, let me show you first the a little bit about the Club of Rome. As you know, the Club of Rome is the organization which produced the study titled uh, The Limits to Growth in 1972, which is shown here on the right side in the yellow square. And you see these curves, they were the results of one of the first models, one of the first global models, which tried to, uh, not so much to predict, but to um, envision the future, what the future could be if we were to keep in our ways. And uh, this first study in 1972 was very much in line with the presentation, with the results that Professor Reuter showed to us before, because it shows that the food per capita should have peaked around 2020. And one of the slides that you showed to us shows exactly that, the food for capita actually peaked um, around, if I remember correctly your slide, it was around 2010. And that's exactly what it could have happened if uh, some lines had been pursued to me in this work. So it's, um, I was surprised by your, your slide, uh, Professor Rotter. It's, uh, it's exactly what we was predicted 50 years ago, unbelievable. And but the, I'm not going to speak about that today. I'm going to focus on the on one of the reports 
uh, that we produced for the Club of Rome, Rome in 2019, titled The Empty Sea, prepared by myself and my colleague Ilaria Perissi, where we apply the same model to the ocean, to the fisheries, to food production from the sea. And rather quickly, this is the way these models are made, but I'm not going to to go into this because it will take a lot of time just to show you that the models are not so complicated, actually. <laughs> if you compare this to things like a climate model, then you see this is a toy model in comparison. But the point I'm trying to make is that 